The Marvel Cinematic Universe is seriously lacking in female characters, with the exception of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. All Marvel properties are driven by male characters involved, which is why Black Widow, who is part of the assembling cast of Iron Man 2, both Avenger films and two of the three Captain America films, is such an important character. Black Widow is played by Scarlett Johansson and has been, until recently, the only female Avenger. She is an incredibly skilled assassin and spy and is able to hold up her own in a group that includes Norse gods and the greatest American soldiers of all time. So here you will find just 10 things about the Black Widow. But before we get started, we put out new videos every week, so be sure to hit that subscribe button for more great content. She's had some pretty great costumes. Perhaps due to her multiple career changes, it took some time for Black Widow to find her style. Avengers are just like us. An essential skill for a superhero spy, and Natasha has really honored her skill over the years. Her costume has somewhat been of a cocktail dress with a veil, but this carried over from her years as a Soviet spy. But it didn't last long once she teamed up with Hawkeye. Her connection with Captain America goes way back. In the Marvel movies, Black Widow and Captain America are two of the most frequently paired up allies, appearing in both Avengers films and Captain America films. Though both are extremely strong, trained fighters, and their movies are frequently violent and dark, their relationship often is a light spot. Her training included ballet, maybe. There is some disagreement within the Marvel comics and now movies about what Natasha's training actually involved. The first explanation we get for her origins has her being kidnapped by Byron Van Strucker in her late childhood and trained as both an assassin and a ballet dancer, which would be a useful cover for her. However, her later account suggests she was trained in the Red Room, a Soviet spy facility which specialized in weaponizing young girls. From her very early childhood, she was never actually trained as a ballerina, but had false memories implanted when she was a ballet dancer. She first appeared as a villain. Despite being most famous as a hero in the Marvel Universe, her first appearance were actually villainous. Due to her Soviet training, Black Widow was originally a threat to S.H.I.E.L.D. and assassinated American heroes including people she would end up working with as an Avenger. One of her earlier missions was an assassination attempt on Iron Man, and she was very quickly followed it up with a clash with Spider-Man. It was during this period that she met and fell in love with Hawkeye, who was, at the time, a villain also in the world of Marvel. Natasha isn't the first Black Widow. Before Natasha hit the scene, Marvel launched a completely different character also called Black Widow from 1940 to 1943. She appeared in five comics, often using her name, Black Widow. While she shared some similar treats with the later Black Widow, such as her ruthlessness and tendency to murder on sight. She's dated some interesting men. There was the at-school relationship with the Winter Soldier. She also married a Russian called Alexia. Then she headed over to America where she dated the criminal marksman Hawkeye. And that's not even half of it. Black Widow has long been attracted to strong, superpowered men, but has never been able to make the relationship last. She has had a reasonably long-term affair with Daredevil, who she fought alongside in California. She ultimately broke up with him out of frustration at the lack of his respect for her powers. There was the much briefer affair with Hercules, because why not? And then when Bucky Bards took over Captain America, they got back together. Emily Blunt almost played her. It's one of those funny movie what-ifs. After so many appearances and so much character development, it's hard to imagine anyone other than Johansson in a Natasha Romanoff role. The image of her in the black jumpsuit has become iconic in a very short span of time, but the role was almost played by Emily Blunt. There was a Black Widow movie in development. Long before Scarlett Johansson took on the Black Widow role, there were many calls for her own movie. There was actually a film starring the character in development. In 2004, the writer for X-Men and X-Men 2 wrote a Black Widow script for Ligate. 
The script served as an origin story following her time as an orphan and her training in the Red Room. There was, or is, another Black Widow. The original Marvel Black Widow, which we talked about earlier, who bore no relations to Natasha. However, in the 90s, she was introduced and portrayed as a successor to Romanoff. She was trained in the same organization as Natasha and was activated with the sole purpose of taking on the Black Widow mantle. She sought out Black Widow in order to kill her and take her place. She's even more powerful than she seems. The most popular version of Black Widow is almost certainly the film version, as it introduced her to many new fans who'd never read the comics, and even in the films, Natasha seems incredibly powerful and possesses strength and combat ability and a huge intellect. However, in the comics, her powers are even more remarkable. Did you enjoy this list? What did you think of it? Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button for more great content. Oh!